through to his church and to his community, to our country, and to his creatures. He sent you, and what he has sent you to do, you will do. And you will succeed. Souls will come into the kingdom through you in Jesus' name. You will not stop your journey halfway. You will not get tired or weary and fall by the wayside in Jesus' name. The people that went before us, God granted them abundant grace, sufficient grace, abundant grace, sufficient grace. It will grant to you in Jesus' name. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 10. First Corinthians chapter 15, verse 10. But by the grace of God, I am what I am. By the grace of God, you will be what he has called you to be. And his grace, which was bestowed upon me, was not in vain. But I labored more abundantly than they all. I didn't hear an amen there. You know, we make a great mistake when we're comparing ourselves with brother so-and-so, sister so-and-so. I have run one mile. They have not run one mile yet. I'm going to rest. I'm going to wait. Let them run as far as I am run. Uh -uh. You're making a great mistake. The grace in your life is greater. The calling upon your life is greater. The love of God put in your heart for souls that are perishing is greater. And your passion for souls that the Lord has given you is greater. So don't wait for other people. Keep on running. You will not run in vain. And so he said, the grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain, but I labored more abundantly than they all, yet not I. You know, Paul the Apostle was quick to say, it's not my natural strength, it's not my natural force, it's not my constitution, it is the Lord, yet not I. <clears throat> but the grace of God which was with me, that grace of God will be with you will increase in your life. Verse 58, at the, great of, the grace of God is to need in your life. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Your labor is not in vain. You know, Pharisees might say, uh huh, you're running up and down. Where is the result? Don't answer them. Your labor is not in vain. You are leading this and leading this and going here and going and sacrificing this and sacrificing that. Where is the result? Don't answer them. Your labor is not in vain in the Lord. They will reward you abundantly it will reward you what are you rise up and tell the lord i know my labor is not in vain in the lord you're serving the lord faithfully and it will bless you abundantly open your mouth talk to the lord in prayer with the understanding and conviction your labor is not in vain in the lord Brethren, let's open our mouths and go before the Lord in prayer. We've had the word of God tonight. Our labors will not be in vain in the Lord. Let's pray that the Lord will help us. If our labors will not be in vain, He will give us the grace to labor. Labor tirelessly. 
labor unrelentingly, labor sacrificially, labor with focus. The Lord will help us and He will strengthen us. He will preserve us and He will keep us until we get pass through the pearly gates to get our rewards in heaven. Open your mouth. Pray unto the Lord. Pray unto the Lord. Those of us who are walking up and down, it's time to pray. This is leaders meeting, please. After we hear the message, when members are rushing into the buses, if key leaders are doing the same thing, then it's a serious concern. It's time to pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. A louder amen. amen. The Bible says, Jesus knew their thoughts. Your mouth is a reflection of your thoughts. You cannot say what you have not thought. If you speak negative words, it's because you have a negative heart. That's why the psalmist prays, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Brethren, I want to commit myself to the Lord. You want to commit yourself to the Lord. Oh Lord, like the psalmist, this is my prayer. Let the meditation of my heart about situation of things, let the meditation of my heart about the global crusades, let the meditation of my heart about the servants of the living God, let the meditation of my heart about happenings all around me be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord. Are you praying this evening? When the Lord deals with the heart, the mouth will express the miracle of the heart. Lord, let the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, so that the words of my mouth will be to your glory, so that the remarks of my lips will be to your glory. Help me, O oh Lord. I don't know the type of heart that is deep-seated there, and then you are saying some things, and you are trying to influence people that you can influence in leadership, people that look up unto you, people that will respect you. You say something, they say, ah, sir, are you saying that? You say, my friend, go and sit down. And then you keep on saying things like that. Oh, Lord, deal with my heart so that my mouth, my lips, my words can be sweet, soothing, and edifying. Pray for yourself, brethren, that the Lord, if there's anything in that heart, anything producing those languages, those remarks, tell the Lord, Lord, deal with it for me, and the Lord will do it tonight. Let's pray. In Jesus' name we pray. A louder amen. amen. The Bible says, or else, how can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he first bind the strong man and then he will spoil his house? And Jesus said, but if I cast out devils by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God is come unto you. Praise the Lord. We, are be we have the benefit of being recipients of the miracles of the kingdom of God. And the Bible tells us that the authority of the kingdom, as the Jesus has reminded us tonight again, the authority of the kingdom has been bequeathed on us. And by that authority, Every bells above, every negative spirit will bow before the church of the living God in Jesus' name. 
because the kingdom is come unto us, you are going to take authority. Every manipulation of the devil against GCK, great miracle crusade, the global crusade, every manipulation of the devil that the Lord will pull them down. I can't hear your amen. Open your mouth and pray. The kingdom of God is come unto us because our master, our savior, our redeemer, he has cast out devils by the spirit of God. By that same spirit of God, take authority. Every manipulation, every plan of the devil against GCK, either for this month or until Jesus will determine when, as long as it will need to continue, the Lord will rebuke them. The Lord will cast them down. The Lord will silence them. Authority has been given unto you. You have the authority. You have the anointing. The authority, they are using it tonight. In the middle belt, there will be peace. All through the middle belt, the Lord will command this peace. The kingdom of sin, the yoke of sin will surrender to the authority of Calvary. Pray. Chains will be broken. We have the authority. If I cast out devils by the spirit of God, then the kingdom of God is come unto you. By the authority of that kingdom, we break every yoke. By the authority of that kingdom, we lose every gathering of sin. By the authority of that kingdom, we lose the captive. We set them free. In Jesus' name, we pray. If I cast out demons by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom is come unto us. We are leaders of our congregation. You are going to speak into your congregation as a rep, as a group pastor, as a district pastor, youth leader, children leader, speak into your congregation. Every activity that is not of God, in my congregation, I give you quick notice. Open your mouth and decree. Every activity that is not of God, in that brother's life, in my church, in that sister's life, in my church, in that youth life, in my, in my department, in that undergraduate life, I give you quick notice because I belong to the kingdom of authority. In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible tells us in the place we read that God will not fail. Will he fail you? Will he fail you in your ministry? God will not fail. You are going to pray, Lord, I have no strength of my own. I have no power of my own. But there is a destiny upon my head. I must fulfill that destiny. I will not pass through like a bird that makes no mark in my generation. Are you praying for yourself tonight? Lord, in my ministry, you will not fail me. In my God-given assignment, you will not fail me. There is a destiny on my head. I will not go to my grave unless I fulfill that destiny. I am a destined sister. I am a destined brother. I am not a mistake in the kingdom. There is a destiny on my head. Help me, Lord. You will not fail me. Help me to fulfill my God-assigned 
my God-given, my God-determined destiny. Pray for yourself tonight. Strengthen me, Lord. Enable me, Lord. To fulfill destiny. If you are getting weak, Paul said, I am what I am by the grace of God. Ask for that grace. My brother, you must not be a mediocre. You must not be a disappointment. There is a destiny assigned to you. You must fulfill that destiny. Age is no barrier. Tell the Lord, strengthen me to fulfill this destiny. In Jesus' name we pray. A louder amen. The Pharisees. With all the miracles Jesus was doing here and there, healing the sick, delivering the oppressed, people getting saved, they were going against him every moment. Now, the GCK is not, not just Deeper Life program. It's all, all denominations, CAN, PSN, everybody. We want to pray that every spirit that we want to rise up through any Pharisee in anywhere, the Lord will silence it. Is that your amen? Number two, we are going to pray. As the people come and they get converted and they return, any Pharisee that wants to tell you, where are you coming from? You went there. I said, I got a miracle. Which type, which type of miracle? Keep quiet. Come and sit down there. Every spirit of Pharisee, Holy Ghost, silence them in Jesus' name. Open your mouth and pray. The Lord will silence them. And all those converts, the Pharisees will not send them back into sin. Pharisees will not send them back into bondage. Pray for them. All the GCK converts, miracle beneficiaries, Pharisees will not send them back into their bondages. The Lord will silence the Pharisees and strengthen the converts. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. A louder amen. Are you happy with the crusade? I can't hear you very well. Now, as ministers, our Father in the Lord is here with us. We are going to use all our faith. We'll stretch our hands towards him tonight. And we'll say, Lord, give your servant more grace. We are happy with the crusade. Are you happy? I said, are you happy with the crusade? Stretch your hands towards him. Pray for him tonight. Pray for him tonight. Pray for him tonight. We are happy with the crusade. More. More of your glory. More of your wonderful. The Lord is opening heaven in a new way tonight. More of anointing. More of glory. More of revelation. More of yoke-breaking power. In Jesus' name we pray. A louder amen. Now you will pray for yourself. Help me, Lord, to put high premium and focus on the assignment you have given me. So that attraction from families, in-laws, relatives, business, life, challenges will not dis dissuade me, will not distract me. Open your mouth and pray for yourself. Help me to have focus. Help me to have focus. Help me to have focus. A focused man will fulfill destiny. Help me to have focus, oh Lord. Not to be distracted. Not to, be, not to deviate. And not to disappoint you. In Jesus.
Jesus' name we pray. Is that your amen? Our Father, which art in heaven, for this GCK, we say, hallowed be thy name. We see your kingdom coming among men. And we see your name glorified every time. Glory be to your holy name in Jesus' name. Lord, like in Jesus' time, there could be Pharisees here and there, out there. And they try to neutralize the effect of the crusade on some recipients. Recipients of salvation, recipients of miracles. They try to sit down there. What has happened? Come on, keep quiet. They try to neutralize it and bring them back into bondage. We pray you will disappoint them in Jesus' name. Any of the religious Pharisees out there that are trying to cage people and hold them down with some distraction to hinder them from participating, Lord, disappoint their enterprise. You came to set the captives free. Free from sin. Free from yoke. And that's what GCK is doing. Lord, I pray, command all of them to be released, to attend, and to benefit in Jesus' name. Those who have benefited already in the last one year, and as they return from the crusade, they face steep religious opposition from Pharisees out there. Father, strengthen them. Uphold them. Like the blind man that, 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 that was, whose eyes were opened, he told the, the, the leader, he said, either he's a sinner or not, I don't know, but he has healed me. I pray that type of courage. You will give to all these beneficiaries in Jesus' name. Lord, we have a destiny. We are not in the States. We didn't crash land into the kingdom. You brought us in for a purpose. Before we go to the grave, help us to fulfill this purpose. Is that your amen? Before we go to the grave, that no sister, no brother, will be a disappointment in the kingdom, in Jesus' name. A Lawrence in your hand. A young corny. Say hallelujah. Bolts of heaven will sing glory. There will be choruses, angelic choruses from heaven. Heaven will open upon the Lord. The bolts of heaven will sing choruses of joy. Choruses of salvation. Chorus of deliverance. Let it be so in Jesus' name. In the middle belt, there will be peace. Every manipulation of the devil will bind them. They will not perform their enterprise. In the name of Jesus. We bring our Father and the Lord before you. Lord, we are asking. Beyond, we know he's praying. We know he's hearing from you. But beyond his expectation. We say this is GCK 2.0. Let there be a special key from heaven. That this is the beginning of the second year of GCK. It will be this beginning of miracles you will do in a learning. And multitudes will believe on you in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thy will be done as it has been determined in heaven. As we go, let your presence go with us. In Jesus' name, we pray. Loud, 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 amen. amen.
Hey, my friends, my name is Andy Rosier. I'm a worship pastor in the United States for Vertical Worship and New Life Church. And I'm so excited to be joining gospel evangelist, Pastor William Kamuyi for the global crusade, bringing supernatural deliverance through Christ. Yes, this is an event that's happening from Thursday the 23rd to Tuesday the 28th of June at 1600 hours with a special service on Sunday morning at 700 hours GMT and it's going to be broadcast worldwide via satellite and on all social media platforms. We're going to be seeking God for healing, salvation and deliverance. So why don't you join me Thursday the 23rd through Tuesday the 28th. We'll see you there. God bless. It's true. The GCK is flying to Quara State. And yes, GCK 2.0 is ready for you on the date. Thank God. GCK is supported by the Lord of hosts. And thanks be to God for GCK is here to save the lost. There's a power coming from Calvary. There's a power coming from this road. And that power coming from Calvary from this road will touch you. You'll never be the same again in Jesus' name. Our soul is escaped as a bird. Out of the snare of the fowler, the snare is broken and we are escaped. That's your story for this month of June with GCK tagged Supernatural natural deliverance through Christ. Because I'm telling you that every poverty is cancelled. Sicknesses are cancelled. All deformities and the works of the devil of the flesh, they're cancelled in Jesus' name. Live from Ilori Quara State and scheduled to fly across the world. Their satellite, social media, radio and television. GCK 2.0 Global Crusade with Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui ministering supernatural deliverance through Christ for all. Andy Rosier is our guest music minister. Praise. Every song praise to you God. June 23rd to June 28th your special appointment for supernatural deliverance from Christ featuring ministers and professionals conference and Saturday the 25th for Impact Academy specially for young eagles to soar. This sixth month gives you six days to soar with Jesus and together we will fly for supernatural deliverance through Christ. Your testimony will be greater than you ever imagined. Hey, my friends, my name is Andy Rosier. I'm a worship pastor in the United States for Vertical Worship and New Life Church. And I'm so excited to be joining gospel evangelist, Pastor William Kamuyi for the global crusade, bringing supernatural deliverance through Christ. Yes, this is an event that's happening from Thursday the 23rd to Tuesday the 28th of June at 1600 hours with a special service on Sunday morning at 700 hours GMT and it's going to be broadcast worldwide via satellite and on all social media platforms. We're going to be seeking God for healing, salvation and deliverance. So why don't you join me Thursday the 23rd through Tuesday the 28th. We'll see you there. God bless. It's true. The GCK is flying to Quara State. And yes, GCK 2.0 is ready for you on the date. Thank God. GCK is supported by the Lord of hosts. And thanks be to God for GCK is here to save the lost. There's a power coming from Calvary. There's a power coming from this road. And that power coming from Calvary from this road will touch you. You'll never be the same again in Jesus' name. Our soul is escaped as a bird. Out of the snare of the fowler, the snare is broken and we are escaped. That's your story for this month of June with GCK tagged supernatural natural deliverance through Christ. Because I'm telling you that every poverty is cancelled. Sicknesses are cancelled. All deformities and the works of the devil of the flesh, they're cancelled in Jesus' name. Live 
from Ilorin Kwara State and scheduled to fly across the world. Their satellite, social media, radio and television. GCK 2.0 Global Crusade with Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui ministering supernatural deliverance through Christ for all. Andy Rosier is our guest music minister. Praise. Every song praise to you, God. June 23rd to June 28th, your special appointment for Supernatural Deliverance from Christ, featuring Ministers and Professionals Conference, and Saturday the 25th for Impact Academy, specially for young eagles to soar. This sixth month gives you six days to soar with Jesus, and together we will fly for Supernatural Deliverance through Christ. Your testimony will be greater than you ever imagined. Hey my friends, my name is Andy Rosia. I'm a worship pastor in the United States for Vertical Worship and New Life Church. And I'm so excited to be joining Gospel Evangelist Pastor William Kamuyi for the Global Crusade, bringing supernatural deliverance through Christ. Yes, this is an event that's happening from Thursday the 23rd to Tuesday the 28th of June at 1600 hours with a special service on Sunday morning at 700 hours GMT and it's going to be broadcast worldwide via satellite and on all social media platforms. We're going to be seeking God for healing, salvation and deliverance. So why don't you join me Thursday the 23rd through Tuesday the 28th. We'll see you there. God bless. It's true. The GCK is flying to Quara State. And yes, GCK 2.0 is ready for you on the date. Thank God. GCK is supported by the Lord of Hosts. And thanks be to God for GCK is here to save the lost. There's a power coming from Calvary. There's a power coming from the throne. And that power coming from Calvary from the throne will touch you. You'll never be the same again in Jesus' name. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the snare of the fowler. The snare is broken and we are escaped. That's your story for this month of June with GCK tagged supernatural natural deliverance through Christ because I'm telling you that every poverty is cancelled sicknesses are cancelled all the infirmities and the works of the devil of the flesh they're cancelled in Jesus name live from Ilorin Quara State and scheduled to fly across the world their satellite social media radio and television GCK 2.0 Global Crusade with Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumui ministering supernatural deliverance through Christ for all. Andy Rosier is our guest music minister. Praise. Every song praise to you, God. June 23rd to June 28th. Your special appointment for Supernatural Deliverance from Christ featuring Ministers and Professionals Conference and Saturday the 25th for Impact Academy, specially for young eagles to soar. This sixth month gives you six days to soar with Jesus and together we will fly for Supernatural Deliverance through Christ. Your testimony will be greater than you ever imagined. Hey, my friends, my name is Andy Rosier. I'm a worship pastor in the United States for Vertical Worship and New Life Church. And I'm so excited to be joining Gospel Evangelist.